Hello everyone, PA Pipe Smoker here. We are back with a food review today, and I am going to apologize that I haven't made a whole, whole lot of YouTube videos. I've actually been focusing a lot on TikTok. If you want to follow me, it's Brendan, B-R-E-N-D-A-N, 1717 on TikTok. A lot of fun videos. Now, I have a very, very, very special video today. I am doing a food review of a stuffed pepper that my very, very good friend made for me. I haven't tried this yet, although I can tell you that it smells good and it's heavy. That's a good sign. So, stuffed pepper consists of a bell pepper, whether it's red, green, yellow, orange, whatever, chopped, top chopped off, and the consistency which goes inside is cooked ground beef, generally rice, some kind of sauce, and seasoning. What seasoning it is, whatever you want, that's the beauty of all this. So, this stuffed pepper is a red stuffed pepper, and the nice thing is, first off, it is very heavy, I love it. There seems to be some cheese on the top, and, ooh, that smells wonderful. Now, how do you reheat one of these? Good question. You can wrap it in foil, put it in the oven. You can leave it in the pan that came in and put it in the oven. You can microwave it, which I'm going to do. Don't hate, don't hate. But if you microwave this, I have a little secret on how to get even cooking all the way through. I'm going to cut it in half. Yes, cut it in half. That way we could also dissect what is in here as well. I don't recommend cutting a cooked stuffed pepper in half because then it's going to kind of make a mess all over unless that's what you're looking for so we're going to cut this in half and i'm going to kind of show you what's inside this i haven't seen this yet i only got one i hope i don't screw this up let's take a chance and go find out take our knife and carefully 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 i'm going to cut it this way through Say a prayer, here we go. Ooh, this is perfectly stuffed. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All the way through, I can tell already. Ooh, so we have some ground beef. We have some rice. Look at that. Ooh. We have some tomatoes with full chunks of tomatoes. There's seasoning in here. I think I smell garlic. This is going to be awesome. And that cheese on top. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to lay this open side up. I'm going to cover it with paper towel. I'm going to microwave it for about a minute and a half, maybe minute 45. And when I do, I'm going to come back, and we are going to eat. See you in a second. Okay, so we have about 20 seconds left in the microwave. This thing's been spinning around. I can't wait. I could smell it. Guys, don't hate me for putting it in the microwave, please. I know there's some microwave haters out there, but it's convenient. It's quick. For something like this, you won't lose your texture. Now, will I put pizza in the microwave? Absolutely not. That is the worst idea in the world. But this, texture-wise, will be okay. Here it comes. I can't wait. So, I put paper towel on top. Steam is coming off it. I don't know if you could see that or not. Definitely, definitely going to be good. So, I could definitely smell that sauce. Definitely smell that seasoning. I'm going to take a little bit with this cheese on the top. Mmm. Wow. I think I see little pieces of either hot pepper. What is that? That's a little piece of sweet pepper, I think. That's mixed in there. That tastes really good. Mmm. 
The thing is, it's seasoned properly. That's the key to this, the seasoning. Now, some people like a lot of seasoning. Some people like a little bit of seasoning. Some people are afraid to use salt. If you're afraid to use salt, don't be. It's not going to make your food salty. It's going to bring out the flavor. Mm. Son of a bitch. Wow. Mmm. Definitely taste all up in here. This is a perfect blend of ground beef, perfectly cooked rice, tomatoes, or tomato sauce you could use. I actually like this with the whole tomatoes. Just get a can. Open that can up, dump it in your mix, start stirring. Ground beef, garlic powder, sometimes you could use um, um, whole garlic. Put onions in there. Oof. Mmm. The more I eat this, the more flavors I taste. Guys, if you haven't made stuffed peppers, make stuffed peppers. It's simple, it's cheap to make, it's easy, it goes a long way, and it makes you look like a good cook. You need an oven for this. You could probably pass it off on the grill if you didn't have an oven. Trust me, it's a few simple ingredients. It's awesome. You know who you are. I love this. Keep the food coming. I'm going to give you some of mine. You know, guys, I love you. And I'm out.